Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. We'll talk about a wide variety of weather. Over the next four days, near record cold, sub-zero wind chills, eventually very mild temperatures, strong wind gusts, snow, ice, and rain. Wow four day period. Let's talk about it. A lot to cover. First, we'll start with uh, the threat tracker, which is in a low level uh, green tonight. Uh, certainly no problems in terms of extreme cold or uh, strong winds, but we'll certainly bring it up to yellow by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into Friday. And this is essentially due to frigid temperatures, sub zero wind chills and strong wind gusts, especially on a Thursday night. The high wind watch in the meantime, skies are clear in Providence right now. It's cold. It's just not extremely cold. Not yet. Temperatures in Cobb Coventry, for example, at 28. Uh, the wind chill is not a factor just for the simple fact that the wind speeds right now are light, but that will change significantly by tomorrow evening. So three issues, the frigid air, the wind, again, wind gusts anywhere from 40 to 60, 65 miles per hour Thursday evening, Thursday night, and then kind of a messy mixture of precipitation coming up over the weekend. I'll show you that in just a second. Doppler radar is quiet for now. No snow or rain this evening. Skies are clear to partly cloudy right now. Some snow squalls and upstate. New York. I'm tracking really two Arctic cold fronts. Uh, the first one just outside of upstate New York and the second one really means business. So the first one's the leading edge of very, very cold air. The second one, the leading edge of frigid air and both of these coming through on Thursday. So kind of the step down process as far as the cold air really rushing in and the core of it is just over the border uh, north of the Great Lakes and uh, this is the Hudson Bay right in here in southeastern Canada and Quebec. You can see temperatures now that's 37 degrees below zero. So that's the core of the cold air that'll break loose. I mean, obviously it won't get to 37 below, but some of that colder air headed our way next 48 hours. We'll get in real close and again future cast for uh, this evening is fairly quiet, clear to partly cloudy. Temps heading down into the 20s during the overnight. 7 o'clock in the morning, 27. Here's what's interesting is the first Arctic front comes through. Look at this right here, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Little band of snow squalls or snow showers as the front comes through. You know, some spots may get a 10 minute snow squall and then it's gone, the sun comes out. So that's a reflection of the cold air coming in. Otherwise, sunshine tomorrow, 11 a.m., 25. The temperatures actually go down during the afternoon, 22 at 2 o'clock by uh, 9 o'clock in the evening at 17 degrees above zero with your wind speeds really cranking up and your wind chills well below zero. Tomorrow morning, partly sunny, a quick snow shower. Temperature at 27. The temperatures go down rather than up throughout the day. So by 5 o'clock in the evening, we are down to 18 degrees. So a dress for tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into Friday morning is one of those situations where you want to cover all exposed skin as these uh, wind chills will be well below zero, about 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Did I talk about the snow yet? Yes. Saturday morning, not a big deal as far as a whole bunch of snow would not surprise me to see one, two, three inches of snow Saturday morning before it changes to rain and ice. And the reason why warmer air comes in over the weekend or milder air cold enough for snow in the morning on Saturday, mild enough for rain in the afternoon. It washes away Saturday night. We're all the way up to 50 with rain showers on Sunday and uh, turning colder by the early part of next week. That's a lot of weather and dramatic changes over four days. But well, we know you can handle that. Yes, <laughs> Jack Nicholson. <laughs> All right, thank you.